Uh, jealous stars, never cease Just give me the strength to fill my faith with your release Nothing is ever promised, promises mean a nothing Born with a sense of prayer, you Yo, what's going on YouTube, it's Ramon here with a new pickup and a review And if you haven't checked out my Lance Mao and Jordan 1 white pair review Go check it out right now So now that you saw that Let's get straight into the black pair. Oh my goodness. I mean, the white pair is dope and all, but this black pair is crazy. Now since you watched my Jordan 1 white review, you figured out why I got the white pair before the black pair. But now, since I found the black pair for a great price, I said, yo, what's up? I'm gonna get them both, because these are dope. And check this out, guys. I didn't know you could do this. Look, you got the royal pair here. You could wear them at once. Just the royals. That is so dope. Um, unfortunately, the white pair, when the paint rubs off, the white, there's white stitching. And the logo, Jordan 1 logo, is white. So, it's not gonna look like an exact pair of the Jordan 1 royals, especially with the Nike SB tongue hanging out at you. But you know, whatever you could do, I know Nightwing would. <laughs> um, but here's the black pair. This is gonna be just a short review because it's the same shoe, just black. It's so dope. And you know, the Jordan 1, I think, is the shoe that started like the midsole contrast. Like, it always has this white midsole and it always pops right out at you. It's like, 3D because look you got the black and then the white midsole then you got color on the bottom there the Jordan 1 is notorious for having that white midsole that just pops right off of the shoe I mean if you think of the best Jordans you got the bread ones and the royal ones both of them have that white midsole that just pop off and that's the only white on the shoe I think that when the only white that's used on a shoe is the midsole that's a clean shoe I really love that design it's just absolutely beautiful it's the same sneaker just in black and you know what the pictures and even this video don't do this pair justice these black lance mounds are way better in person I mean in pictures to me they just seem kind of plain and just like uh, whatever but in person these are absolutely ill feral I'm Jack and Fulmer style but I'll pay him his 8% <laughs> uh, this is the royal pair it's just so dope let's go on to the red pair now this is what I like I like the red pair on this black one a lot better I mean the bread one is like one of my top, the second favorite Jordan of all time and so these are just dope. I can't wait to brush them off. It's gonna look absolutely beautiful. I'm, go I'm gonna try to go for like a fade design right here. It's gonna be great. Uh, the toe box is gonna come out real nice because uh, underneath the toe box is just red and royal blue so you got red on the bottom there. Ah, this is so dope. Look at that red bottom. Here's the blue bottom. I mean it's dope. So if you already seen my white one, you, you really don't need any more, you know, looks at the shoe. It's the same thing, just black. So I'm just real glad to get both pairs. I think that this is the best release of the year. And Nike, Adidas, whoever, Reebok, they're going to have a real hard time topping this release. It is just such a dope concept, the whole mismatch. And then the paint shoes, not walls concept. And it brushes off. It's so dope. And to do it on two of the most iconic Jordans ever. That is just crazy. I mean, they could have easily done it on like just a regular dunk or whatever, but no, they did it on a Jordan 1. Not just a Jordan 1, but a Jordan 1 High, but not just a Jordan 1 High, the Jordan 1 Royal and the Jordan 1 Band. That is crazy. Yo, Nike SB, I know the Jordan 1, they used it as skate shoes way back in the day, but let me give you some advice. Somehow, some way you got to make the Jordan 4 a skate shoe. Just do it. I don't care what you do, just do it. If you make the midsole different or some, just, just make it happen. The Jordan 4 as a skate shoe. Then Jordan 4 SB, that would be so dope. Nike SB, hit me up, PM me, Instagram me, email me, whatever. Do what you gotta do. Make that happen, please, okay? But here we go, guys. That white midsole is just popping 3D right off you. It's the Jordan 1 Last Mountain Black. I got them both. What can I say? I'm hella happy, like they would say out here in the Bay. This is so dope. I wore the crap out of these. I'm gonna wear the crap out of these so I can get that paint rubbed off. I'm gonna skate in this pair. I will. I just gotta get a skateboard. So if you guys want updates on how my how my Lance Mounds are doing as far as the paint chipping, go follow me on Instagram at Geronmon. Just check it out. Boom. 
boom, 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 boom. I'm so happy. These are the best releases of the year. Probably the best release of the last two years for me. So anyways, guys, I hope you guys like this video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.